Good morning, everyone. Um, it's Tuesday. Uh, we got through Monday. Always good. So today we're going to get back to our seeds, and we're going to talk about starting the seeds direct sowing into the trays. So why we call it direct sow um, is the other way that I'm going to show you tomorrow using the Ziploc bags, uh, the paper towel, even the toilet paper tubes, things like that. A more germination. This is we're going to put down a soil bed and we're going to put seeds directly into the soil bed with a few other things. So we'll, we'll touch on a few things. So a couple of the most important things we've got here are the various size seed trays. Now all of these um, basically have the same function. They are here to essentially hold the soil in a soil bed so that we can put the seeds in it. So how do we go about doing that? Oh, and I'm gonna start something here. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these. These are Jiffy and Coyer pellets. They're pre-wrap and they're for seed starting. So what we're going to do is these are ones that I prepared earlier and this is what they look like when you get them. So I don't know if you guys, let me hold a couple up. I don't know if you guys can see that, how clear. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just put them in our saucer right here. Remember yesterday, one of my favorite tools, my watering can. And now I'm just gently gonna add some water. And we're just gonna fill that just, just about maybe a half inch from the top. We're just gonna let them sit. So they're gonna do their thing while I do my thing. So the purpose of doing a direct sow and the reason that we have all of these depends what you're gonna grow. If you're gonna grow something that you're gonna get a ton of harvest from, you might wanna start these. So I've got something like this started already. And we looked at these the other day and these are the micro greens. So as you can see, I did a direct sow straight into the soil, okay? And that's exactly what we're gonna learn how to do here. So we're gonna use these ones. And I've got my bucket of soil. So for this purpose here, because I've got a few other things I'm gonna do today, we're just gonna use a potting soil. Now there is a seed starting soil, which is excellent as well. But for today, we're just gonna use a basic potting soil. It will do the job of what I need to do today. So, like I said, we're gonna do the big ones here. And you know what? Let's do our mustard greens, okay? So we're gonna put them there. Now, first thing you wanna do, again, you might wanna get somebody to help or make sure you've got an area you can get dirty. I'm gonna take my watch off. Put that in my pocket. Hopefully I don't forget on it and sit on it and break it, but that's that's not your guys' worry. Your guys' worry is getting seed started. So we're gonna take a couple of generous handfuls. And again, I'm lucky, I don't care if I make a mess. Look at that. I don't care. So you guys might care though. You guys might care. So you might have to be a bit more gentle. And what I'm doing, I don't know if you can see properly, but all I'm doing is I'm just using the back of my hand to firm it down. Now what I see some people do is when they're doing this. I'm gonna see if I can separate these. I see people take this, and I see them try and force the soil and make it heavy. It's not gonna work. You don't want your soil that, uh, that compacted. Do you know why? Remember what we talked about? I don't know if you can see my drawing here. Remember those little roots when that seed breaks open, that tiny little root? The harder packed that soil is, the harder job your little root's gonna to have to go down into it. So, what you wanna do, handful of soil, you want to put it in so it's close to the top like that. And then you just want to take the back of your hand gently and just firm it down. It's that easy. It's that easy. Nice and gentle. I always kind of flatten mine out, make it even. And that's what you want to look like. And again, it doesn't matter which one I'm doing it in. So these can't get the back of my hand in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill them up. Again, close to the top. And what I'm going to do, now I'm just going to use my thumb. You can see I'm just gently patting it down. Again, I'm not forcing it down. We're just gently firming it down, use your finger. All we want to do is have a firm seed bed so the seed doesn't sink too far deep. 
Okay, is that good English? Too far deep? We're gonna run with it. You don't want your seed too far deep. That's the message from today. So, we've got that firm down. Now, we're gonna do our seeding. So you'll notice every pack of seed, they're all different. There's all kinds of seeds out there. There's different varieties, there's different types. But on the back of all of them, there's going to be instructions. So you, you're gonna to wanna to read them and you're gonna to wanna to familiarize yourself. If you have trouble understanding it, that's what we're here for. You can take a picture and say, what does this mean? One of us will answer it for you, okay? So, in this one here, in this bed right here, let's do some microgreens. So, I don't know if any of you have seen microgreen seeds. Right there. They look almost like poppy seeds that you would put on a bagel, okay? And these are mustard greens. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pinch and I'm just gonna scatter them loosely on my soil bed, okay? Now, the ones I have left, they just go right back in the pack. Some of them didn't make it, but that's okay. Now, all I'm gonna do here is very gently again, you can see them sitting on top, uh, and we can always take pictures of these. I'm gonna take my finger, and I'm just gonna firm them in. I don't want them sank way too deep, because they're very, very small seeds. And that's it. That's it, I'm just packing them in there making sure they're done. Now, we'll get to the next stage. So what are we gonna do with this one here? So this can fill up with microgreens like this. That's fine. But this one, is not really a lot for microgreens. So what I like to do in these smaller ones is do my individual seeds. So what'll go great in there are peas. I don't know about you guys, I love peas. I love picking them off the vine fresh and just crunching them in the garden. So that's the difference between a pea seed and a micro green seed. And again, my instructions are gonna be on the back. So, seed depth, about an inch deep. Okay, so I've got my tray, I'm gonna fluff this one up. This is the one I pushed down too hard. Okay, now I happen to know my fingertip is about an inch. So, I'm gonna throw one seed in each one of these like this. Oh, look at that, that one broke. So you know what we do with that one? You know what we do with that one? We get rid of it. We don't need that one. And then there we go. Now, very gently, push it down to about an inch and cover it. Push it down and cover it. So you guys can see here, push it down, cover it. And that's it. And that's all we're gonna do there to get these peas going so that we can get them outside. So, get rid of our seeds. And did you guys see these grow? Look at that. And the great thing about these is, we're gonna start my sunflowers. So watch this, there's a sunflower seed. I think we all know what they are. And I'm just gonna stick it straight in the middle. Straight in the middle like that. Bam, I just planted a couple of sunflowers. So, get rid of that. Now I've got these. How do I water? I don't use my watering can this time. That was a trick. I hope I fooled you all. My spray bottle. Why do I use a spray bottle? Because when I pour this, it's too heavy. That's gonna, if that hits my seeds, it's gonna make them go, remember our expression of the day, too far deep. We don't want that. So we're gonna take our spray bottle, And that's it. Now this water has been in here for a day. It's warm, because what do seeds need? They need warmth and they need moisture. And then I'm gonna hit those probably a couple more times today. I'm gonna leave them somewhere nice and dark, nice and warm, and we're gonna come back and revisit these guys. That's all you need to do to have a direct seed. Again, any questions, let us know. Now, there's something else I have to do here. I want to show you guys. So, I don't know if you remember our spider plant from the other day, the one that we used to show roots. Here he is again. We're going to plant him. So here's a pot. Make sure my pot is a suitable size for my plant. 
my bucket of soil. I'm gonna throw some in, and now this one, you'll notice I am firming it down heavy. The reason for that, it's the bottom layer. So now this guy comes up, I don't want his leaves to get in, so I'm gonna pull his leaves up. I'm gonna sit his roots in. Oh, this is so much better than doing it at home. The mess I can make here is just fantastic. Okay, you can see, and now I'm gently packing the soil around the roots. Gently, gently, again, now we're not firming it down. We're going gentle so those roots can grow, those adventitious roots can grow all through the soil and get what they need. So we're gonna put a bit more soil in there. Okay, and that's it. And now, what I'm gonna do with them, something very important. So that's good. You can see this? I'm gonna put them in a plant pot. Do you know why? That's for my sister-in-law, Trish. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday, Trish. This plant is for you. I will be dropping it off later. So a big happy birthday to my sister-in-law. She's an absolute wonderful, wonderful person. Mwah. I love you, Trish. And that's the great thing about plants. It took me two minutes to put together a perfect birthday gift for somebody. And there we go. Most important thing, we got a water, we go to our watering can. So, we're gonna ask you guys to all tune in tomorrow. We're gonna learn how to germinate our seeds using paper towel, Ziploc bags, and toilet paper tubes. Have a wonderful Tuesday, everybody.